He's an average kid that no one understands. Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Yeah, twerk! The tune and boom up in his room is broken instantly. Eyes magic, little fish, and grab his every wish. Cause in reality, they are his odd parents, fairly odd parents. Wands and wings! Floaty crowny thing! Odd parents, fairly odd parents. Right, Turner. Save the obviously thick mechanical baby. <laughs> and when you do, I'll have proof of your very good parents. <laughs> yes, yes. Work with me. Pencil. Ah, you have a package from your uncle Albert in Canada. Can't you see I'm busy? Plotting! Get out! Oh, Denzel! Where did our love go? Out the door with the rest of you! What a dumb toy! Fiddlesticks! I know! I'll take my frustration out on this lava lamp by rubbing it until it breaks! <laughs> Listen, I ordered that pizza hours ago. Yes, one large anchovy to the lava lamp beside the crazy guy in Canada. Oh, hang on a second. Hello, insert human's name here. I am the all-powerful genie, Norm. And you? I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. For releasing you from the bottle, I get three magical wishes, which I can use to prove once and for all that Timmy Turner has... Very good, parents! Wait, wait a minute. Did you say Timmy Turner? Timmy Turner? He's my, my mortal, mortal enemy. enemy! Just think, Norm, with my brains and your magic and my brains, nothing can stop us from destroying Turner once and for all. <laughs> this is just a guess, mind you, but have you forgotten to take any medications today? No, yes, Turner. Wind your little ball around the little pole with your little friend on this little... Uh, earth to crack pot. Cracker. Whatever. Besides my pizza, what are we waiting for? I'm an all-powerful genie, remember? Just make the wish, and Turner is toast! <laughs> Not so fast. Since you need my wish to activate your magic, I'm in charge around here. We'll use one of my diabolical plans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your other plans have worked out so well. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you just wish Turner to some horrible, lifeless place? Some place like... like Mars! Silence! This is our plan. I call it Operation Smashing Failure. First, I wish I had three tons of concrete. Second, I wish I had two tons of steel girders. And... Hey, whoa, slow down there, hunchback of Never Dated a Dame. That's two of your three wishes right there. Drat! And I can't use my last wish to wish for more wishes, can I? Actually, yes, you can, you know. We tell everyone they can't, but really, you can. We've been bluffing for centuries. How deceitful! I like that, Nagini. I wish I had three more wishes! You're not as crazy as you look. But then you couldn't be. Next, I wish for some dynamite! And three more wishes! The Arc de Triomphe in Paris is nothing compared to this! My Arc de Failure! We lure Turner underneath and... Kaboom! Turner gets the ultimate f struck on him, crushing him with his own failure! And I shall pry from his cold, non-living hands his... Very good, Terrence! I bet that works on the ladies every time. 
the Timmy Turner Memorial cool! Finally, I'm being appreciated for all my hard work! Like... Like making the other kids look smart with your constant heps? Goodbye, Turner! Yes! Goodbye, Turner! I'm guessing you got a big, wild social life, don't you? giant arches like they used to. How would you know how they used to build giant arches? You always get Fs. So, let me guess. You wish all the stuff was gone, you wish all your bones were broken, and you're gonna wish for another three more wishes. Gah! Make it so! Okay, Operation Smashing Failure didn't go quite as I had planned. Which brings us back to this. Mars! Come on, imagine it! Mars! Turner's head exploding from lack of oxygen. No! Turner must be destroyed here so I can get control of his very good parents! Mmm. Just the way I like my shakes. Spaz, not stirred. Come on. Send the kid to Mars. It's 150 million miles away or something like that. Just say the word, little buddy. Come on. Come on. Norm, 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 you're overcomplicating things. I've got a very simple plan. It's a plan I like to call Plan Number Two. The more time I spend with you, the more I am beginning to miss being imprisoned in my lamp. First, I wish I had magical painting skills. I wish there were a boulder precariously perched at the top of that cliff. And third, I wish for three more wishes. Oh, I get it. Turner rushes to see the girl of his dreams and smacks into the wall. And the vibrations are going to topple the rock. Exactly. Very Great. If you need me, I'll be over here waiting for your plan to fail. Turner is coming. I'll join you. Wow, you were right. There really is a desert within easy biking distance of Dimsdale. Yoo-hoo! It's me, Trixie Tang, a delicate female of your own age group beckoning to you. Seriously, have you ever even talked to a girl? What kind of idiot would fall for that? Trixie Tang and Ice Cream together and talking to me for the very first time? <laughs> Impossible! No, no! I'm not falling for that old trick! I'll still get you, Timmy Turner. I'll get you and your. Hey, you parents! You might need this. <laughs> See, it's that kind of thing that screams, I live with my mother. Is everything set up for my new plan that I call? Crocodile Doom? Unfortunately. The back door to Colonel Hartman's Dimsdale fried chicken is open. The glue sprayers are in place. The pillow shredders are primed. And the rubber glove machine is set. Oh, and the easy wish him to Mars suggestion is once again ignored. Fabulous! Then it's time to power up the giant magnet. Now, Turner, step into view wearing even the slightest amount of metal and be pulled to your deep fried doom. <laughs> Berries! Wait a second. Where are the roller skates? They're the key to the whole plan. Must I do everything? That thing on your neck. Is that your ear? I wish I had roller skates. Then three more wishes. <laughs> The only way to do things right is to do them myself! <laughs> I hope I'm not wearing any... What was that thing on his neck? 
I take it back. I like this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Apparently, I'm allergic to all 17 secret spices. Then <laughs> fire. <laughs> but you smell delicious. <laughs> Silence! Your plans keep failing. What kind of a genie are you? The losing is patience kind. There, there, Norm. It isn't entirely your fault. I have something that might cheer you up. Have you suffered a recent head injury? To the Crocker Cave! <laughs> I know my first few plans didn't work, but I don't want you to worry, Norm, old buddy, old pal. I have plenty more. See, Norm, we can keep doing this forever and ever! Norm? Oh, Norm! Wow, today was awesome! No Crocker, no enemies, just Trixie and Chicken! Norm the Genie, what are you doing here? I came here for my revenge. <laughs> if you want Timmy, you have to go through me! That goes double for me! If you want Timmy, you have to go through Wanda twice! Let me finish. I came here for my revenge, but that idiot Crocker is driving me crazy. You gotta help me, man. Here's my lamp. Huh? Hey, look at that. What do you know? Now you get three wishes. And uh, if you don't mind, I have a suggestion. <laughs> I told you Mars would have worked. <laughs> and you, uh, you know you got two wishes left. You, you sure you don't want to do anything about that teeth situation? There is! Sure, but it's better than cleaning muck out of the gutters. Time to muck out the gutters, Timmy. <laughs> Try to stop puking. Oh no, that's not right. All my garden rows are crooked. But why? <laughs> Sweetie, your baby teeth are finally loose. You're growing up. And that means I'm growing old. Oh, I must get something to make me feel young. <laughs> Yahoo! My teeth are loose! The faster these babies are out, the faster I get my permanent, normal, adult-sized teeth like everybody else! Never again can they call me Buck Finn, or the Toothinator, or... Or Buck Tooth McBeaver Face! <laughs> Not me, I would never call him that. Nor would I refer to him as Shovel Mouth, Doctor Incisor, the Enamel Invader, Surfboard Face. Why don't you go to Dr. Bender and have them pulled? Because if there's one thing I hate more than these Uber teeth, it's that dentist. Ooh, I love these molar cufflinks. <laughs> <laughs> but when they do fall out, you know what that means. Ah, uh, a visit from the Tooth Fairy? Ooh, a visit from the Tooth Fairy. Did someone say loose teeth? Yeah, Count Bucula's two front teeth are finally loose. Ah! Yes! I have waited so long for this moment. I have a very important announcement to make tonight, and I want you, my closest friends, and Timmy's teeth to be there. See? They're not even gone yet. <laughs> and already I'm more popular. We're his closest friends? I will see you at the pointy crown at seven. Don't be late, and bring your face because your teeth are still attached to it! Chewbacca! Ahem. You are probably wondering why I have forced you to come to this fancy restaurant. Not really, but seriously, we're your closest friends? I don't have many friends, okay? You punch them once and it's all, ooh, stop punching me! Tonight, I am going to ask the Tooth Fairy for her girly hand in marriage. <laughs> I mean, what a loss for women everywhere. 
Yes, I know. You are crushed that I am officially off the market. Not really. But that is why I need Timmy's famously large baby teeth to propose with. Huh? What do you mean? What? Baby what? Timmy, your teeth are the dental equivalent of the Hope Diamond. The Tooth Fairy has had her eye on those dazzling beauties for a long time, and I want to be the one who gives them to her. But Jorgen, Timmy's teeth aren't ready to come out just yet. Then I will pull them out painfully with my muscular fingers. But it'll scar me emotionally for a lifetime. Well, no plan is perfect. <laughs> Tooth Fairy? I meant, uh, look, I'm a donkey! Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Jorgen, honey, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I was uh, just playing uh, neck snap with young Timmy Turner. Whoops, duty calls. <laughs> nice try, Francis, but this is Chester's tooth. Without that tooth, you look just like your ma! If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a bully who yanks out someone else's teeth. I mean, who does that? Ah! Jorgen, stop! You don't need flashy teeth to propose with. Cosmo proposed to me with a chewed pen cap, and here we are 9,895 years later. 9,895 years, seven weeks, 11 days, and three and a half minutes later. But who's counting every creepingly slow minute he's not married to the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> The Tooth Fairy! Uh, I mean, look, I'm an iguana! Yeehaw! <gasps> Jorgen Von Strangle! Tell me I'm not seeing you try to pull out Timmy Turner's teeth! <sighs> okay, you are not seeing me trying to pull out Timmy Turner's teeth. Tooth magic is my job. I can't believe you disrespect me like that. <sighs> I... Uh... We're finished, Jorgen Von Strangle! Still love the teeth, Timmy. <laughs> My one true love! God! Jorgen, please don't cry! And please don't throw us in the fiery pit of despair! It's not our fault you lost the most famous and glamorous woman in fairy world! <gasps> Who isn't my wife? You guys really are my closest friends. I don't know what I would do without you. If you don't stop choking us, you'll find out. Uh, you'll have to try to figure it out, because they're going to have to come home with me in a minute. Do not leave me all alone. Now, don't you worry. By this time next week, everything will be back to normal. Hello, remember me? Your godchild? Sorry, Timmy. We're stuck here. But guys, it's been a week. Things have been kind of rough without you. Gee, sport. I don't know if we can leave Jorgen just yet, but I feel so bad for him. And I feel so afraid of him. You can handle one more day on your own, can't you? You can handle one more day on your own, can't you? <laughs> I didn't make a dime on my last tooth con, but with your giant choppers, I'll be rich. I can get my dad out of jail. No! Don't know where I'm going, but anywhere's better than there. Except here, Cosmo Wanda, I wish his bike could fly! <laughs> How come they have time to poof me these stupid notes, but they don't have time to grant me wishes? <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who is? Who is? Jorgen is! <laughs> I will never leave the comfort of my best friends! <laughs> I want my life back, and the only way to do that is if you get your life back. So let's get... Mandibular? Molaractic? This over with? Aww. Timmy, 
me. I want you to know we have the latest dental technology available to remove your freakishly large baby teeth. But I won't be using any of it. Instead, I'll be going with one of the classics. I'll be using this doorknob. It worked for the pilgrims and it'll work for you. Wow, that didn't even hurt. Now for phase two. I sure hope this works. Finally, at last, the greatest baby teeth in the universe! Gotcha! <gasps> Timmy Turner, how dare you! Let me go immediately or I won't give you a single penny! But I have to talk to you! Jorgen can't sleep, bathe, or inflict pain without you in his life! It's just... Despicable! He said that? We can't get him to stop saying it! Oh, Jorgy. But you were still trying to do my job and yank the small boy's teeth out. Listen, I know Jorgen can be a hothead bully. I am not. But he was only doing that because he loves you. He only wanted my teeth so he could prove it to you. Oh, Tooth Fairy, please forgive me. Please forgive him! Without you, I have lost the will to pump iron. Being buffed means nothing to me if I don't have my lady. I want to spend every single moment of our endless lives together. Tooth Fairy, my enamel-coated angel. Will you marry me? Oh, yes. Yes, I will. Yeah. But you are going to start working out again, right? Oh, I'll start right now. <laughs> Oh, my toothless little friend, how can we ever repay you? I think I've got just the thing. <laughs> Two new adult teeth. You couldn't have fixed my eye? I only do teeth. I'm not good with eyes. <laughs> See? But these teeth are just as big and buck as my old ones. Of course not. They're bigger. And best of all, like our love, these are forever! Well, better get back to business. Surfboard face! Uh, the Toothinator! Uh, let's see, the Towering Toothferno! <laughs> Tooth Fairy, do you take Jorgen to be your husband? I... Do. Is there anyone here who has a reason why these two should not be wed? Uh, Talk and I'll kill you. Look, I'm climbing up. <laughs> I still miss her. 